Yo guys, what is up? Karma and I'm back with another video and in today's video, the free first DCI and uh, yeah, we're gonna be sorting out the audio and the sort of uh, infotainment uh, sort of system running with my car. If you guys remember, I watched the uh, introduction video to the car where I list the problems. You remember that um, the car didn't, didn't come with the front speakers. So I've sorted that and also you got the hanging out radio. So we're gonna inshallah be sorting that out today. Um, if we have a look, um, yeah, at the minute I've sort of cleared out my boot because I stupidly um, didn't close one of the bottles properly and I've got a soaked carpet and uh, yeah, a bunch of water in the car, not great. Um, but yeah, so obviously we've got a set of replacement Harman Kardon speakers. We've got tweeters as well. Um, and obviously because the owner said there's no speakers in there, we're gonna need bolts. I've got bolts, they're just at my house. I'm gonna go get them. Um, but yeah, and then as for the radio, if we have time, then I got it here. I'll show you more on that later. But for now, let's get on with the video. So guys, we're gonna crack off by getting the door card off first. Uh, I believe behind this cover there's a screw point. We've got two screw holes here and here, um, and then it's just clips all around the door. And then yeah, we'll get access to the tweeter and the speaker. So yeah, let's do that. Anyway, guys, we've got the screws out. Door card is off. Uh, we disconnected the. I originally didn't want to disconnect this, but thankfully BMW make your life easy, and they just give you a very simple clip. Fuck you, Vag cars, for making it some ass clips. And yeah. There, obviously the speakers are there and guess what guys look the screws are already in here so thank you to the last owner for being actually considerate um and yeah the screws are here so in theory the tweeters and the hk speakers should just bolt straight on so let's go ahead and do that okay guys so i don't know where i left off uh sorry this video has been filmed over a few days okay let's uh let's tuck that in anyway um so we've got that door card sort of done and um yeah d done that door card and we put the speakers in but they're not working so it might be an amp issue it might be wiring i don't know but we still got to put the speakers in uh this door here so what i'm gonna do is obviously take the bolts out basically repeat the process again and uh yeah so i'll show you what the car looks like with this door card off in case there's any hidden mysteries coming off obviously the only thing different on the other side is we've got this but that should be easy to take out anyway but yeah so let me just crack on with that so guys door card is off um now previous owner obviously had some aftermarket speakers of some sort uh this should just look like one of these ends here as you can see uh but it doesn't and that's because it's been spliced into two sort of separate endings and you know crappy crimps they basically strip back the wire to the copper and then you add these little metal pieces inside and obviously that's how you make a connection now if we look at the speaker itself and the connection how many pins it's probably a double pin system yes it is but really and truly will that even make a secure connection i'm very doubtful it will um i will play around with it maybe try and put some tape or something or compress it down I'm not too sure um because that is just that uh, will look like a loose collection um on the other side what we did is we actually stripped back the wire back to the bare copper and then we just wrapped it around the endings of the pins um but yeah, uh, the tweeter luckily is just re retains the original clip, so that will just go straight on. Speakers are bottled in, uh, so literally it's just a matter of fact of getting the door card back on and just connecting everything back up. Uh, so let me go ahead and do that. So guys, door card is back on. Uh, clips are pretty much in. I did definitely didn't break any. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, door cards in. Um, but I'm test I've tested the sound and still no sound. So uh, for today's video, I'm probably not going to touch the speakers anymore. I'm just going to do the head unit. Um, but yeah, so obviously we've put both speakers in. These were the old. It's, it's weird because the old owner, this is why I'm convinced it might be something to do with wiring rather than the amp. The old owner cut the old the speakers out. This is the original speaker bracket. And what he's done, he's just cut the speaker out. It's just so weird. Um, yeah, so I'm, I don't know what to do in terms of why I'm not getting any sound from the front doors. But, 
yeah i mean um if anyone can comment down a suggestion maybe below of why that is that would be greatly appreciated but yeah i've done the best i can do the next step which i will probably do not in a video probably just try out myself um uh is probably i'm gonna take one of my mates uh hk amps and swap it over see if that makes a difference then i know if the issue is within the amp or not because i've already what i've done is i've already taken my mate's speakers and put it in uh to test if it was the speaker itself it was not it didn't work so yeah really interesting but for now let's move on to the head unit all right guys so uh we've taken these trims off well there goes on your scene's leg and no point in removing this can if i want to but yeah basically we're just going to use the they're just normal phillip head screws and they will take this basically uh split screen um frame out so that will come out and then we can fit the new head unit replacing the radio obviously so let's do that so guys screen is now in uh we put the trim back obviously i'm missing a few uh clips so that's why it's a bit off uh as for the screen itself it's relatively smooth uh, if you go into the car link, I've way main thing is Apple CarPlay, um, wireless. Uh, I do we did tuck our, our USB here as well. If you want to use a charger or anything like that, so that's good as well. But yeah, um, obviously, speaker speaker sounds quality is really good as well. Uh, you know, one thing you got to worry about with head units is does it distort the audio? No, it doesn't. This one's perfectly fine. Alhamdulillah, got nice look matching red font to match in the uh, in the night obviously with the orange and accents as well so yeah guys i'm really pleased obviously i'll update you if the shit if the screen wants to put itself yeah let's take this off if i can get it off okay i see just leave it no i don't like them but i'll take it off uh, not on video guys but yeah that's the radio done so guys that concludes today's video it's been a long one i'll be so real it's been filmed over a numerous amount of days just because of you know, delays and whatnot but yeah um so i'm not too sure how this video is actually going to turn out sorry if it's a bit crap today um but yeah that was sorting out the audio on the project 3 first cci it's still not complete Obviously, we've got that unknown issue of why sound isn't playing, but I am mean, really chuffed with the head unit. Got my Apple CarPlay, and it made the rear speaker sound a lot better because I don't have to rely on a supercharger, aka a Bluetooth transmitter. But yeah, guys, that sums it up. So yeah, uh, stay tuned for the next video of what's to come on this car. Most likely going to be a repair, knowing this car. But yeah, take care, guys. I've been Carmen. Peace.